All right, let's get into this other category called the events category, this uh, kind of dark brown right here. So far, pretty much we've only been using this when flag is clicked block, which is a hat block, so it starts a whole program. Um, let's just use some examples. So we'll just, once the flag is clicked, we'll say flag. Woohoo! So I click on the flag, and he says flag. Uh, this next block says when a key is pressed. So let's duplicate this and make it say space. So this is once we press the space bar. Maybe you want that to shoot a missile. So once you press space, it shoots a missile. I press space and it, sh it says space. Click the flag and you notice that these glow once they happen. So if I click the flag, this one will glow because it's currently running and then it ends because it's ran out of blocks. If I press space and this one glows and then it will eventually stop. These all start actions. Of course, I can grab out another one, do this one for the up arrow, up. Now when I press the up arrow, press space, um, press up arrow, space, up arrow, you know, I can kind of go back and forth, um, and that's pretty cool. We also have when this sprite is clicked, maybe once he's clicked, um, we'll just make him say another thing, because that's one block that we definitely know how to use, we'll just say, ouch, why'd you click me? All right, now I click the flag, he press flag, press space, press up, does those things. But once I click on him, ouch, why'd you click me? Cool, so we've got these different half blocks which start programs. We also have this one, which is a very interesting block. I don't know why they added it. This was not in Scratch 1.4, but they did add it. So this is once the stage backdrop switches. So for example, if we've got a beautiful, uh, let's just choose one from the sprite library. Let's do beach at Malibu. What? Yeah, so now we've got our blank one and we've got our beach at Malibu backdrops. So we could have once the backdrop switches to the Malibu beach, then it will do say something else. Ooh, I like this beach. <laughs> Why not? Okay, so then we can go to this switch backdrop, and once I click this to switch it, then it triggers this whole thing. That could be useful in some cases. All right, we also have when loudness is greater than, and when timer is greater than, and when video motion is greater than. And remember, these are going to go with your sensing block, so you're going to need to go and watch that video to learn about loudness, the video motion, and the timer. But this will trigger once those are greater than a certain value. For example, I'm going to reset my timer. Once timer is greater than 10 seconds, then it's going to say a whole bunch of explanation points. Again, watch my sensing video to learn more about this. And then finally, in our events tab, we've got these three blocks, which are very interesting blocks and um, very useful as well. Uh, so we've got when I receive message, broadcast message, and broadcast message, and wait. Hmm. Okay, so let's grab another sprite just to show how this works. We're going to choose, uh, why not, let's do our little beetle right here. So we've got our beetle. Now let's make our cat do something. So we're going to make it broadcast a message. We're going to make a new message and we're going to call it say hi. Okay. First, the cat. Hold on. Let me move all of these hat blocks over here. They still work. But I'm going to make this happen when the flag clicks. First, the cat is going to say hello, beetle friend. I can even spell hello beetle friend and I spelled beetle wrong good job Christian hello beetle friend and then it broadcasts say hi hmm what does that mean we go to our beetle can when I receive say hi <gasps> Ooh, the cat said hi to me what should I say back I think hmm for one second Say hello, hello kitty cat, hello cat. 
Now, once I click the green flag, the cat's going to say hello, beetle friend, and then this will glow after because the cat broadcasted say hi. That means that it broadcasts it to the whole the whole project. All of your sprites in this stage can receive that message, which is pretty cool. Notice that I use broadcast, which means that if I were to say something right after it, they're going to overlap words. Say, I'm just going to say random text here. Once he says hello, beetle friend, they're going to overlap words. But if I do broadcast, say hi, changes to say hi, and wait, then that means he's going to wait until the broadcast is finished in all of the other sprites. So once he's done saying hello, cat, then it will be returned back to the cat. So if I run this, say hello, beetle friend, then he says hi to the Hello cat, and then it goes back to the cat and says, oh, blah, blah, blah. Hmm, fdgurg. Yeah. Anyways, so you can use broadcast and broadcast and wait blocks to send messages from one sprite to another. It's very useful for animating in certain situations, um, but there's also other tricks that you can do too. So that is all of the events blocks, which are mostly hat blocks. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys learned something. I'll see you guys in the next one.